10,000 graduates and students, hunting for jobs which are fast disappearing amid the global downturn. If Dustin Hoffman thought he had it bad, he should have tried Beijing's latest job fair. More than 6 million Chinese left university this year, a five-fold increase in just seven years. That means the competition has never been tougher. I've been looking for a job for five months since leaving school in May. I expected 2,000 to 3,000 yuan a month, but now I think over 1,000 will be fine. Of course, I'm worried. There are more graduates now, which means there are more competitors for every position. Even the government says the employment outlook is grim. And while the slump in exports has hit manual workers, the country's burgeoning middle classes are feeling the pain as well. Their parents were assigned work, but they're used to personal choice. And, until now, they've expected fulfilment as well as a better lifestyle. I was very picky when looking for jobs before. I felt this or that didn't fit me. Later, I realised it was my problem psychologically. There is nothing that doesn't fit. Our education is idealistic, but you realise the gulf between realism and idealism once you reach the real world. When you're job hunting, you have to be practical. These job seekers epitomise both China's success and its failure. Its progress in educating them has been staggering, but it has not yet created the jobs that they need. Experts think the country needs 8% growth to create employment for the extra people joining the workforce each year. But it looks like the global slowdown will slash that rate in 2009. And that could spell the end to the aspirations of many young people and their families. For graduates this year, the situation is not looking good. There is a worldwide economic crisis. I was born into a farming family. We are not rich. I took loans for university, so I hope I can get a stable job after graduation. China knows that its continued success will depend on developing its mass manufacturing economy, and educating its people to a higher level is a crucial part of that. But as this job fair shows, there are simply too many graduates and too few graduate-level jobs at present. And with growth forecast to fall well below the 8% figure next year, that problem is only likely to get worse.